everyone. Thank you so much for checking out Crafty Little Rosebud here on YouTube. Today we are doing a plan with me for the monthly view of January 2019. We're going to do two different setups because I am currently using two different planners in this one. So we will jump right into it. For um, January in my socialite, um, I am actually going to use a kit and then for my um, January in my super mom, we are going to use these two Erin Condren uh, monthly sticker books and I'll kind of walk you through that. I did pull one extra sticker sheet. These are my 2019 coffee trays from Sweet Bean Plans. I thought I might throw those in and then there's this little 2019 banner from a sampler from her shop. So the kit that I'm going to use is Sticker Guru's uh, monthly January kit. I got this in my subscription. And so we're just gonna kind of lay it out, hang on to some things um, to maybe use within the month and we'll go from there. So let me get these pages out and we will get everything laid down. Okay, so since this is made for an Erin Condren, there is gonna be some overlap here and there, but that is perfectly fine by me. Um, I will make it work. So we've got two days at the top here and two days at the bottom here that will not be used that I might try to squeeze these in. And then, um, so I'll just kind of lay it out and we'll see how this goes. I might need to do some tweaking, but that'll be fine. Okay, so I did have to cut Wednesday off because the layout is a little bit different than what you have with the Erin Condren but that is perfectly fine. So what I'm gonna do is squeeze Wednesday on over here. And then we will do the rest of the week. Okay, so for that, this kit is actually made for an Erin Condren. So I did have to take Wednesday off, attach Wednesday onto the other side, and I detached the little things over here. Um, I think how I'm going to use this is I'm actually going to take this little things and I will put it right over here over the notes. I'm hoping um, with switching up planners this year that I can just show different ways that I use um, various kits that were meant for one planner and use them for this other planner. And hopefully that'll help you all. Um, I recently saw a sticker shop post that she didn't know what to do. She wanted to switch to a horizontal planner, but there were so many cute vertical kits. And um, so I thought I would try to focus 2019. Well, yes, I will um, use Happy Planner kits. I'd also like to use Erin Condren kits in it and kind of show you all different ways you can use it. So here is my little things. I decided to put it over here in my sidebar. And then um, I am, yes, ma'am. I am going to add in my little 2019 planner down here. Or do I want to put it up here? So I chose to put the little February 2019 monthly view right here because this is monthly gold and I'm one of those people I have to have lines. Um, I might still use these two little spots for two like big goals, but I don't have um, the five or six that it had a spot for. So next, I'm trying to think, um, I was going to put some boxes here. I was going to put these at the beginning and the end of the month, but I'm really worried they're gonna cut too much off. So I think what I'm going to do is I will just use these ice skates down here in um, this little corner. And then, um, let's see, I won't use the bill do. I might throw some of these little deco pieces through, I'm not sure yet. Still kind of debating. Okay, so while I was at it, I did go ahead and lay out my date covers. I meant to do that before I started this kit, um, but I forgot. So I went ahead and I got that laid out. And we've got lots of icons here to use. Um, I figured like if we do a little road trip, those would be good to use. And um, we've only got one trash can and we actually have trash every week so I'm not going to use that um, and I was trying to think you know grocery shopping birthdays um, I'll have to get my list but I do still have this left um, I think I'm just going to hang on to it and then I've got all of these um, I think what I want to do I've also got these left as well 
So to use up a little bit more of the kit, I think I'm going to take um, these boxes here and I will do my social media stats. Um, I'm going to use this planner as my social media, my catch-all. So I do YouTube, I have Etsy sales, I have Instagram, and I don't currently focus on Facebook too much. So I'm just going to pull three colors and put them down here and I will put the little icons in and to use those to track my social media. So I will get those laid down. And at the beginning of each month, I will just write in my current stats. So, and then I've still got room to do my little things and I've still got all of this left. I think I will take the little um, washi strips and I will put, let's see. Well, I'm not gonna worry about those. I'll hang on to those. Let's go ahead and we will lay out our holidays. So we've got New Year's Day we can put down. So, and the sizing is a little different on some of these just because it is made for an Erin Condren, but again, that doesn't bother me. Um, we do got birthday and vacation. My stepbrother's birthday is in January, but again, I have to check my little um, perpetual calendar to get that exact date. I'm just going to put Martin Luther King down here, um, even though it says it right there. And so I do have a good amount left that I can use um, in the future for other kits during the week. And then um, I did want to go ahead and take these little wine glasses for celebration. And I'm just going to put those right here just because I thought they were cute and I wanted to go ahead and get those. So that is my layout using a, an Erin Condren kit in a Happy Planner. So... Um, for the future months, I am actually going to do plan with me's for the different sets of the weeks like I have been doing. However, since um, I am switching planners completely, I was not sure how I wanted to use the socialite. So I actually went ahead and pre-planned the first three weeks off camera so that I could get an idea of how I wanted to use kits. Because I do want to bring a variety of kits to you all and show you all how I use them. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. This of course is the Erin Condren monthly kit that we just laid out. And then I used an Erin Condren vertical kit I got as a freebie and I did already completely plan this out but I wanna show you how I used the kit. So I put my tracker stickers over here and this was not part of the kit. These are separate. Um, top three for the week, I put my three goals. And then I took the socialite and I made the top part work and no work. And then I took my deco boxes and put them here. I put our event, we're having a party and I put at so I can write in the time. And then this right here is going to be my social media um, row. And so here I will put what video I wanna post. And then down here, I'm going to have fitness and chores. So I'm gonna to try to do a daily chore. And fitness, this can be any kind of wellness or health related thing. So I've got vitamins, morning routine, and night routine. And then here, I just put some checklist in because I thought I might need to make some list of to-dos. And again, just chores down here. Social media will be written in there. And I did put a bottom washi strip down. This week is very chaotic and busy looking because I had no idea how I wanted to lay this kit out. So um, it does get better as we move on. I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with it um, over the next couple weeks. So here I've left a little opening in case I need to make a list at work. And then I've got my deco. Then I've got lazy day here. And then we continued on with our wellness. We will continue on with our chores and again, social media. And then weekend, I just put some deco to list, and then I did some of the things that I need to just get done during the week. So I will have to meal prep one day this week. I would like to track my daughter's naps on the weekend, and then at some point over the weekend, we will unload dishes and I will dump the litter box. So I just put them down here as a kind of whenever I get to them. Then I got a little bit more comfortable with my setup and a better idea of how I wanted to do it. 
um, into the week of January 7th. So here I've used another kit and what I've decided to do is instead of using the top box for work and the second box for school, I've decided to just kind of combine the two. So anything I need to get done for school or work will go up here where I put the little things. And I did use the date covers as well right there. And then I put my deco boxes in and then here is my social media. I did put a $2 Tuesday right there. Um, I might post something I wanna focus on on my Etsy. Um, this will be a YouTube post or this can be Instagram post, whatever I decide. And then I did my fitness slash wellness. I've got my vitamin tracker over here and my water tracker. Um, and then five minute pickup, I thought these would be great. I've also got 30 minutes and 15 minutes and I thought this would be good to put down each day. And then I figured I would track our dinners this week and see how I like that setup. So this is a lot less chaotic than last week and I just think um, that this will definitely suit me much better. So then I did kind of um, mimic what I did last week though. I put my little things here to do at work. Um, and then I've got my deco and then social media and then um, our wellness or fitness and then our cleanup and dinner tracking. And then for the weekend, I did my two check boxes to kind of make a list. I've got this little opening if I need to put in an event for those days. And then I've got my deco and then down here, I'm going to put in my um, weekend to do's, dumping the litter box, um, nap tracker, and all of that. I just have not done that yet. Then for the third week, I finally got a really good grip on this. And so um, I really like how I'm doing this and I'm going to continue doing something similar. I've got my kit here and I did pull in some stuff from the earlier kits in this month because I thought this needed a little bit of um, foiling. So I've got my little to-do list up here, my deco, I added some Simply Gilded Washi, my social media, my fitness and wellness, and my chores. And again, my trackers are over here. And I used um, the bottom washi here is actually from the kit that I used um, last week. So then um, I did a little bit differently. Um, just with my checklist, I did a to clean list right here because I will be cleaning that Sunday. And then I left an open to do list Saturday and an opening if we have any events. I've got my washi transferred over, my weekend banner. And again, I will do the weekend chores down here. And then um, for this one, I just did a short um, checklist for Friday. And since this was a micro kit, it only had four deco boxes. So I just left this area open for whatever I want to put in it. So I'm really liking how I've um, started to use this socialite planner and I definitely think I'll probably stick to something like this with using the different kits. As you can see, none of these kits were made for the socialite. Um, so hopefully this will give you a good idea of different ways you can use them. These were all for um, Happy Planner Vertical and Erin Condren Vertical and they laid out pretty well. So hopefully that will um, help you to see different ways you can use kits. Um, I actually just remembered, I did want to throw back to the monthly really quick because I did have this cute little 2019 banner. I wanted to put it up in this corner or banner. They look like little balloons. So I did wanna throw that up in the corner there just to get that used. And then we're going to go over to um, January in our um, super mom and we're gonna lay out that monthly really quick using Erin Condren sticker books okay so here is my monthly view in the super mom I have not done anything to it and we are going to strictly go off using these sticker books here because I want to show you different ways that I come up with using these now I'll show you both of the views and I did get this extra sticker sheet and I might try to throw some of these in there as well. Um, but here is January in the new sticker book. And here is January in the older sticker book. And I think what I'm going to do is just kind of um, plug these in in different spots. Now this calendar view is not going to be for events or social media or any of that. This is strictly tracking things we do around the house. 
So anytime we mow, I will put a sticker down for that. Any um, period tracking will go down for this. Um, uh, cleaning my engagement ring will go down in this. Um, I'm trying to think. There's lots of different things. If we um, uh, cleaning the bathroom, since I don't do it weekly, will go down in this. Um, cleaning my craft room, which is not actually a craft room. I have a craft desk and like a craft stash area. Cleaning those up will go down in this. And so I will just kind of track different things that need to be cleaned, um, changing the sheets, getting my eyebrows done, anything like that um, that I don't really have on a set schedule or I don't have to do weekly per se um, will go down here. So that's what this calendar is going to be used for. Um, so I think what I want to do, since I've got the two sticker books, I do want to take some of the full boxes out of here and lay those down. Um, I don't want it to get too clustered though. So we're gonna take this, it's time to sparkle, and we'll put it down in this box down here. So we'll use that. Okay, and I think what I'm going to do, since I'm not sure exactly how I want to use this, is I'm going to lay all the stickers out, and then I'll come back and show you how I decided to use them. Okay, so since this is going to be for tracking, I didn't want to lay too, too much down. So here's what I used from this page in the old book, and then I really didn't use much from the new book yet. Um, I figured I would hold on to some of that and see how this goes for my first month. So... Um, I've got the best is yet to come, let's party, ring in the new year, happy new year, and I took the washi strips and just put a thin strip at the top and a thin strip at the bottom to kind of make it pretty. And then I put the washi at the top, the washi at the bottom, and it's time to sparkle. So like I said, I'm keeping it super simple because this is just going to be for tracking, for personal things, um, and I just wanted to add just enough deco to make it, make me want to come to this calendar. So. That is all I got for you tonight. Thank you so much for watching me kind of figure out how to use um, these new monthly views since they are a little bit different than the Erin Condren. I'm very excited to continue on with this and I hope you have a great day. Bye.